This program is a basic ecosystem simulation with three different types of creatures and a random natural disaster event. These creatures navigate a two-dimensional grid in time steps consisting of movement or feeding, asexual reproduction, and starvation due to hunger. This program utilizes OpenGL and the OpenGL Utilities Toolkit Library to display the grid and the console to print basic tracking statistics. Much of the OpenGL code is copied or derived from a tutorial found on NTU's website. I'll put the link in the description. The basis of this program is a programming exercise in the textbook, but this implementation has several key differences. The most obvious difference is that there are four different creature types as opposed to only two in the book. The original two types are prey and hunters. Prey act as the bottom of the food chain, if you will, quick to reproduce and they don't need to kill for food. They can be thought, as, thought of as herbivores. Hunters, on the other hand, are carnivores. They must eat prey in order to survive. A hunter must eat a prey every three steps or it will starve or uh, be removed from the grid. In addition to these creatures, I devised two additional creature types. The first is human or omnivores following the previous example. They will eat prey and hunters but can be surrounded and killed by hunters if enough of them surround a human. The other custom class is nature, representing a natural disaster by randomly killing everything in a certain region of the grid. Obviously, random acts of nature aren't creatures, but they are treated as such by the program for simplicity's sake. I'll explain this later. The grid in this program consists of a two-dimensional array of creature pointers. The creatures are given access to this grid so that the creature's member functions can directly add, move, or remove other creatures or themselves to and from the grid. In this manner, the creatures are able to determine their own actions, defined by the move, breed, and starve creature member functions. During each time step, these three functions are called on every creature on the board, who then determine what to do based on their individual programming. OpenGL comes in after every time step when a new image of the grid is drawn onto the screen in a loop of the creature's draw member functions. The OpenGL Utilities Toolkit also makes handling mouse and, input and keyboard input very simple, and in this case, only mouse input is used to track a creature. By clicking a creature, its color is changed and its statistics are printed to the console. 